Your next step in solving the Rubik's Cube is completing your first layer of it. So you can see you have the cross already. The corners do not match. All right. So pretty much it's kind of like the first one. You, you go hunting for your little cube. So I'm looking for another blue cube that's a corner, which I do see one right here. So the blue cube that's a corner, it also has a white and an orange. So I'll be able to move it along the bottom until I find a white and an orange. Here's the white side. Here's the red side. So that's not right on the white side and the orange side. So yes, this cube I want down here. If I want to get it up here, I want to start down here. So find your cube, put it underneath the piece you want it to get to, and then you hold it there as if it were in the bottom right of your front interface. You hold it here, and this is where it comes time for your next algorithm you need to remember. Get out your pen and paper, pause the video, be ready to write this down. This next step, as I mentioned, requires another algorithm, which I have right here. I request that you write it down. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. I'll show you exactly how that goes. So like I said, the piece is right below where it needs to go. And I'll do that exactly as I mentioned to you. So right inverted, you take your right side, twist it counterclockwise. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Okay cube's not in the right, it's in the right spot, but it's not in the right orientation, so you just keep doing the same thing. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. 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 Boom. Your piece is here. The orange side's on the orange side, white side's on the white side, blue side's on the blue side. This looks awesome. This is your first kind of like, ooh, moment when you're solving the Rubik's Cube because you got that in the right spot. This cube is in the right spot. Congratulations, you have these four pieces all correct. They will not move. They're all right where they are. So, write it down. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. I might put some cool pictures up so you guys can print them out or something like that. I don't know, but you have to write those down and memorize them. So I'm expecting you guys to kind of just go through your Rubik's Cube and solve them as you go with those and just keep remembering them. And once you finally memorize them, then you'll be able to solve it without them like I can. Um, okay, next blue piece is blue, red, white. So white side's here, blue, orange. I don't want the orange. So I move it over. Blue, white, red. Blue, white, red. Right be beneath where it needs to go, as I said again. So... Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. So on, so forth. Okay, boom. This corner is intact, as it was before. Nothing got messed up. Now this corner is intact, so look at this. Looks amazing. These four pieces, all correct. Not going anywhere. All right, find my another blue piece right here. Blue, yellow, red. Move it over. Always keep the blue on the top, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that, but it's kind of what you're supposed to do. And then, yep. And then have this one, the front one. Have the red, the front one, because the other side's right here. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory because this part goes here. So you need three, these three sides, these three colors. And the red just happens to be on the left, so that's where it goes. I mean, kind of self-explanatory, but... Yep, just right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. It does look kind of cool. It looks like I'm doing it really fast, but I'm not. Okay, this part's intact. Look at you're starting to have somewhat of a Rubik's Cube. It looks cool right away. This is where I kind of got excited, and I was like, yeah, I want to be able to solve a Rubik's Cube. Oh, okay, here we go. So this part is our last piece of the first layer. It's already in its right spot. Blue, yellow, orange. Blue, yellow, orange. So Instead of having it beneath it or whatever, you can just leave it here, but make sure it's in the bottom right of the top. And you can do right inverted, down inverted, right down. And then there it is. So you can see this whole top layer has been completely solved. That's exactly what you need to do to start solving your Rubik's Cube. And I'll end this, this first video here, and I'll continue on with step two of how to solve your Rubik's Cube. And we'll move on from there.
on solving Rubik's Cube. I hope you're excited so far.